Your amygdala is in charge of your emotions. The amygdala is also the pharmacist of the brain. Whenever you have an emotional crisis, it is the amygdala that takes over the response, puts it in your blood system, so you act. Your amygdala is in charge of your emotional memories. It stores your emotional memories. So the best of things that ever happened to you and the worst things that have ever happened to you are in your amygdala. And the other side of the equation is your prefrontal cortex, the most evolved, latest evolved part of the human brain. It's in charge of logic, functioning, good decision making. And one of the jobs of our cortex is to do this, to exercise control over our amygdala, our emotions, our impulses. Although we have the most advanced cortex than any other creature on the face of the earth, and our amygdala is small in comparison, it still has clout. You see, when we get emotionally overwhelmed, our amygdala secretes a hormone that temporarily cuts off interference from the cortex so it can create an action. What will the amygdala base our actions on? Well, currently, it's the best of things and the worst of things. But it's not equitable, is it? Let's say this person grew up in a household where they didn't experience trauma. They had so many good experiences and values. This other person has been exposed to some of the most heinous traumas and abuse and neglect that anyone has ever seen. Both of these people are in front of me, and I stress them both. Their cortex gets cut off. Their amygdalas react. But this person in their amygdalas, guess what? They have values and they have behaviors that were taught from good experiences that still mitigates their emotional response and probably the worst I see from them is some attitude. But this person who's seen some of the ugliest things demonstrates the ugliest things they've ever seen. This started to explain to us why we have to get new behaviors into the amygdala. The other thing we found out is that people who've been traumatized over and over again get a hypersensitive amygdala that tends to overreact quickly and even misinterpret benign help as aggression. As a result, until we get people more chemically balanced, their chances of doing better is lower.